got it, I got it. Okay. Hi, I'm Ariana, and I'm a freshman at Bellevue West. On a Wake Robin playground, I befriended a 10-year-old boy named Owen. I called him Owie. Not because it meant anything, but because I was young and not yet clever enough to make good nicknames. He had the energy of a drugged-up squirrel and the imagination of the world's greatest dreamers. He thought sunflowers were umbrellas for bugs and that people were walking poetry minus the rhymes. He said I was a genius because I knew where babies came from and I could spell Mississippi. He, s he asked one time why people couldn't fly. In his mind, it would solve everything. He gladly traded shoes in for wings if it meant he'd get to soar above the people he loved and crap on the people he didn't. <laughs> I didn't know what to tell him. Even birds get lost sometimes. Owen was the definition of innocent. Had a heart so pure, God himself must have washed it. His existence was an earthquake. And I don't mean that he destroyed cities. It was just the devastation we felt when we heard. Ted and Wally's didn't have enough ice cream to soothe the burn, and Shane could only sing so many songs to distract me before I remember. He was just a little kid. Spent his whole life looking at his mom like she were a hero, and really, she was the joker, carving a smile on the world as if it'd be possible for us to grin again once this was over. Your mother decided plastic zip ties would be an adequate leash for the child who was growing up too fast for her to keep up with. We should have noticed when she began to give away her things just a few minutes after your body went limp, she decided she'd fall asleep too. I guess a mother's love really does carry beyond the grave. The preacher says, God has a plan, and that this was just a minor detail, as if anything about you were minor, as if a tombstone is big enough to explain what you meant to me, so they better dedicate a rainforest to writing your obituary. The boy in the green coat whose adventures play out like a movie in my head is six feet too far away from his home, and I miss him. Ever since you left, every little boy questioning the world becomes your eulogy. I still can't forget you. The boy that once made me believe in God now has me cursing him because the blueprints failed to mention the guilt that comes with living Owen. I'm sorry I was too cranky to play the last time I saw you. <laughs>